Hey everyone and welcome back. Uh, we have a Glock 34 versus the Glock 45. So before we start, we're just gonna make sure they're both cleared. This is the 45. The forty five. And we have the thirty four. It's awesome to make sure it's clear. So, magazine out. Clear. And this one's also clear. We have the thirty four. So, Yeah. So put it this way. All right. So obviously they both have that longer full size handle. You know, you get a good grip on this. This is the Glock Forty Five is basically the it has a seventeen frame and a nineteen slide. And then this one obviously is the 17 is like this size right here. So it just has this extra bit of slide to it. Pretty much the main difference between the 17. But the comparisons, um, let's put them overlapping. Let's see. The Glock 45 measures up to that indent right there. You see it? You can see it, but right there. So that's this much more slide. Therefore, it has this much more slide off than the, you know, 45. But with that, this one has a real good, you get a real good grip on this. Let's see if I can make sure the name. But yeah, you get a real good grip. So over here. At the range, this one just has that good grip. Don't get me wrong, this one also has a good grip, but we're shooting it. No, I think this one kind of shoots better, in my opinion, but that's just me. I think it's because of the longer slide. But this one now, here's the point I'm trying to make. But this one, you can, I guess, carry it more. This one's more carry, carry, how do I put this? If you want to carry one of these two, you mostly, mostly want to carry this one. This one has less slide, can fit in a 19 holster, but it does have a full size handle, so conceal, maybe not. But they both have 17 shots, 17 rounds. See this one, the thing about these two, this is just my, the one, well this, this is my personal, this is my brother, but he doesn't have an MOS, so this is, this is totally off topic, because you can also get this one in the MOS, but this is an MOS, so I can add a red dot to it, both, you can both, to both of these you can add flashlights. Beams, whichever one you want. And let's see another difference. Not um, too much of a difference, but the slide release on this one. Let me show you. Right here. I'm um, 34. Slide release is a little bit bigger. Not by much. I don't know. I'm going to compare them right now. See the slide release. Not much of a difference, but there's a difference. And then on the on the sight, 
they have basically similar sides except this one if you can see it from the angle this one's all the way back here it's because of the mos but this one's fixed up here but supposedly these are adjustable sights you can see that it comes with a little tool to adjust them but these are the sights they're about the same There's a slide length from the top view. Alright. Um, for me personally, I mean they're both Glocks. They both sh a Glock shoots like a Glock pretty much, but. It's all personal preference, it depends. You know, if you want to choose one or the other, well, it depends on how many you have. If you already have a, you know, 17, you might as well go for a 45. If you already have a 19, you know, you can probably slide on the 34, but it's all personal preference. At the end of the day, it depends what you already have. If you already have a, a concealed carry gun, you might, you know, you can prefer the 34. If you already have a, a range gun, go for the 45 but yeah that's it's up to you it's your choice let me show them off one more time 34 45 now I do like the Slide color on this, pretty nice. Let's do front. Yeah, man. There's both. Also, one thing: if you're carrying any of them, you can definitely notice the weight on this one. But I don't see why you would carry this. But this has a good weight to it. And with and with ammo, it definitely adds some weight. But now, it's also this. This is my brother's, but I personally don't think I would need this. I mean, this is something you can just, you know, have fun with. I don't think you would actually want to carry one of these. So, it's a drum. Personally, don't like this. I don't. I don't think they're reliable. If you want to go to, for Glock, just stick with Glock. You know, Glock parts, Glock mags. And then with this one, now this. This has. I'm pretty sure this will have some serious weight to it, but you know. But for my, for my 34 to be close to stock as possible. What I'm gonna do to the 34 is I'm gonna add the I'm gonna add the red dot and then a laser to it. That's pretty much it. But yeah those those are the guns.